Alright, so I'm going to attempt to do my first tutorial. Um, actually, this is like my third attempt, but the other two were just not working out because I am not good at videotaping myself. Anyway, it's going to be of a seahorse, and I'm going to try again, and if this works out, then fantastic. Hopefully you guys get the idea, and hopefully I get better as time goes on. Um, so if you see a little outline of the seahorses, because I've washed it off like so many times. Um, so let's see how I can do this, because it's going to be on my leg. You're going to see my toilet, which is going to be kind of weird, but I don't have any fancy equipment or anything like that. So we'll see how this goes. So I'm going to load my little flat brush here. And like I said, it's going to be a little difficult to do, because I'm trying to do this through the camera because it's in the way of my leg here. You're going to start out with the nose. You're going to make it kind of long. And you're going to swoop up here where I have my little first line. Come to a point, swoop again, and just keep doing little swoops on down because they're kind of spiky. And leave down there for the tail. So come back to the nose, make a little jaw, I'm going to make the nose a little longer. That was a little messed up. And then you're going to come down here. You're going to do a little spiky thing for the neck. And then you're going to make a, a big old buddy. And with practice you can get this. I have this pretty down, but it's really hard to do while one-handed, holding a camera, and on my leg, and looking through the camera. So then you're just going to fill it all in, and you can use different colors if you want, do some shading and stuff, but I just want to make sure that I get this done alright, and not make it too complicated, because of the filming problem, so. You can, if you have a split cake, fantastic. If you can load your brush with two different colors, Props to you, and I'll do a little tutorial of my how I taught myself how to load a brush and stuff. So just get that all filled in. I'm trying to do this quickly. So then come back down to the tail, which is right there, and you're gonna make a nice big swirly circle. And some spikies coming off the tail there. Oh, this probably looks really deformed. <laughs> but you can make it look a lot better since you won't be holding a camera while you're doing it. You can perfect it. Alright, well, that's my dog. Say hi to Ammo. She wants to come paint too. Just trying to touch it up. Okay, I'm not going to worry too much about detail because I have faith that you guys can figure it out. But I'm just trying to show you the basics. Because one time I went to SeaWorld and the chick had no clue how to paint a seahorse. It was literally like an oval with eyes and a little swirly tail. It looked really funny. So then you're going to come and you're going you're gonna to load a, a little brush, whatever you feel comfortable. I don't think there's any like any uh, particular one you have to use. But for the eye, let's see if I can get this here and look at the same time. You're just going to place it right here and you're going to do a nice big cartoony hello eyeball. did this for the kids at my event yesterday. And they loved it. Okay, so you've got your eye, and you're going to load a tiny detail brush with some black. My outlining is not going to be too high. Okay. So if I mess this up. Okay. Just go ahead and give the little guy some outlines to define the... Oh, this is horrible. Woo little spikies he's got. Okay, so you just want to outline him, get the eyeball filled in and everything. And then what you're going to do is you're going to, this is the part where I'd probably take another color and add it in there like a darker color or something, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to show you the outlining. And just do a little thing. 
pin there so it can flap around in the water. And then if you want, you can use you can use black. I'm going to go ahead and use the blue. I used more of a periwinkle blue for the bubbles at the event and it worked out fantastic but like I said this was just a simple way to show you how to do it and maybe at some other point I, when I get better at videoing I can show you a better version of it a more easy so you want to for the bubbles I'm just going to make a bunch of circles here You can do the bubbles however you want, going around the eyebrow, up to the cheek or something. And then you can just decorate it however you want with some teardrops, some, you know, little little lines, some stars, some polka dots, however you want to do it. This is yours to work with. This is just to simply show you a kind of easy way to do a seahorse. A lot of kids liked it, and it's really cute, just some practice, and, um... Really, it's a very simple design to do um, if you just get the swoops down and the uh, shapings and everything. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I promise my tutorials will get a lot better. I just am so excited that I want to get them out there. But, um, you know, there's so many ideas, and it's hard to come up with some. So when you've got a good one, I think you should just share it with people, you know. So, alright. I will see you guys later.